Fast aerials might be the most misunderstood mechanic still in Rocket League. I mean, look, my signature coaching program, the Grand Champ Roadmap, just finished up, and I had players all the way up into Diamond, Champ, and even pushing on Grand Champ that were doing their fast aerials wrong. So shout out to Fireburner. This video is inspired by him. Today, we're gonna be breaking down the most common mistakes when it comes to fast aerials to show you exactly how to fast aerial properly in Rocket League. Quickly though, before we hop into this video, I want to give a shout out to the video sponsor, me. <gasps> Yep, believe it or not, I am sponsoring my own video today because the first season of my live coaching program just wrapped up. And so to celebrate, I just launched a free training on my new website, which is gonna be the first link down in the description below. So if you're interested in getting coached by me, definitely go check it out after you watch this video. But yeah, without any further wait, let's hop right into this. Okay, so to start out this video, what we have to do is cover the most common mistakes when it comes to fast aerials. And I'm gonna keep this video really short because the mistake is something that's actually so easy to correct. So let me show you the obvious wrong way to do fast aerials. Anybody who's watched a tutorial on YouTube or frankly has seen any pro player for any amount of time will know this is the wrong way. But just for the sake of demonstration, the wrong way to do a fast aerial is this. Double jump, pull back, start boosting. Obviously, this is the wrong way to do a fast aerial because you only start boosting at the end of the motion. So instead, what a lot of players are told to do is aerial like this. They think, yeah, I gotta hold my boost down the whole time to go fastest. And so what they'll do is this, boost, jump, pull back, jump, pull back. And while this might look like a fast aerial, it looks like you're holding down boost and going fast the whole time. This is actually a mistake. And I can tell you why by asking you one simple question. Why do you boost during a fast aerial? The obvious answer you might think of is, I boost to go faster, right? Boost makes me go fast. But if that's what you think, then you really don't understand the full story. But let me ask a follow-up question. In what direction does boost make you go faster? You might be saying, duh, of course, I know this, Luke. What are you talking about? Boost makes me go in the direction my car is facing. But if you see where I'm going, that's just it. If you do this aerial the way that a lot of people do, where you tilt back, jump, and then finish tilting back, the actual thrust from your boost isn't pushing you straight up into the air until the very end of your aerial. And that's literally it. That is the reason this aerial is bad, because it takes an extra amount of time to get your nose pointed to the ceiling. Whereas your goal with the fast aerial should be to get the nose of your car pointed to the ceiling as fast as possible. So let me show you the actual way you want to aerial. Instead of jumping, tilting back, jumping and finishing, what you wanna do is jump Hold down jump as long as you can to get the most height possible. Tilt back until your car is completely vertical and then jump once your nose is almost facing directly up. If you aerial this way, you will straight up get to the ceiling faster than if you do it the bad way. So to recap, the order of your inputs should be as follows. Start by boosting the whole time. You need to make sure you're boosting from the start of your aerial. Then jump and tilt back your car simultaneously as quickly as possible. A tip Fireburner gives in his tutorial is to actually start pulling down on your joystick before you take off. This is gonna make it so that that pullback is instantaneous. Then from there, you're pulling back until your nose gets straight up and only then do you actually double jump. Also, I'm hopping in after I recorded this for a quick editor's note. I forgot to mention, if you're having trouble accidentally backflipping on your fast aerials, you gotta make sure you let go of your joystick before you do that second jump. If you just pay attention to this, you should be able to fix it with a little bit of time. But if you're continuing to have problems with this, one other quick fix you can do is turn up your dodge dead zone sensitivity in the settings. I go into more depth about this in my dead zone settings guide, but I didn't want to forget to mention it in this video. Anyways, back to the program. 
If you do this right, you can literally look at the side by side. I will hit the ceiling faster every single time fast aerialing this way than if I did it the other way. Quickly though, before I drop some of my favorite training packs to test your fast aerial and to actually see if you're doing this right, I want to talk about the most common objection and an objection that one of the players in my coaching program actually gave me. I swear, there are GC players that don't understand this, but if you didn't know, your flip is saved for a full 1.5 seconds after you jump off the ground in Rocket League. And what this means is there are only two ways you should ever go up for a ball. Either you fast aerial using the method I showed at the start, or you single jump, single flip aerial. There's no if, ands, or buts. There's no in between. I'm telling you guys, if you do it this way, you will straight up dust players all the way up to the Grand Champ ranks. But anyways, that's enough for my rant. <laughs> Let's hop into the actual training pack section so you guys know where to go to practice this. So, if you've seen any of my old videos, you'll probably know what the first training pack is. It is Double Jump Aerials by Doomsy. The reason this pack is super good for testing your fast aerials is because almost all the shots after shots three and four require you to get above the ball really quickly. If you're using the old method of aerialing, you'll be able to get up to some of the shots, but not all of them. Take shot three, for example. This ball is coming straight back at us, and if we try the old method of aerialing, we're gonna fly right under it. So make sure you tilt all the way back, aerial from there, and you'll realize how much of a difference this actually makes. Also, another quick tip on these balls that are pretty high up in the air and pretty close to your takeoff location, what you wanna do before you jump is actually hit the brakes. Hit the brakes just a little bit before you take off to make sure you don't have too much forward momentum and you can get high enough up to hit the ball. Lastly, the only other two training packs I want to shout are going to be by my favorite training pack creator, which is, of course, Paquito. He has some of the most thorough training packs for almost every mechanic in Rocket League, and I think he actually has two aerial training packs. He has one called Aerial Shots Redirects, and he has one called Aerial Shots Pass. Aerial Shots Pass is a little more high-paced, but they are both really, really good for practicing your fast aerials. Once again, link in the description below. But yeah, guys, I promised I would be quick. So there you have it. That is how to fast aerial properly in Rocket League. I really do hope that helped you fix your aerials. And if you did, definitely let me know in the comments below. Also, just like I shouted at the start of the video, I just dropped a free training on my website to celebrate season two of my private coaching program launching. To be completely honest with you guys, enrollment is limited and I only expect accepted roughly 10% of applicants in the spring launch. So if you are at all interested in getting coached by me, do not procrastinate. Now is the time. Last season, spots filled up incredibly fast. So make sure to click the link down in the description below to watch the free training and secure a spot in the program. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed and best of luck in your ranked games. Cheers, guys.